So we'll be going over the interactive tax assistant tool. Uh, which form should I use to file my taxes? So real quick, uh, just like with all the other IRS interactive tax assistant tools, you can find this on the IRS website. We'll post a link to this page in the show notes. A uh, couple of pieces of information that you need to know. Uh, <clears throat> You need to have all your income documents, such as your Form 1099s, your uh, Form W-2s from uh, working as an employee, any other uh, documents that would state your income or any tax that was withheld. And then you need to kind of have just your basic understanding of how old you and your spouse are, your tax filing status. So this tool should take about 17 minutes to go through according to the IRS uh, but if you if you end up uh, leaving your desk or your computer for a, a certain period of time it could kick you out so after half an hour it, it'll kick you out and that's for security purposes uh, as you might know the uh, interactive tax assistant does not keep your personal information the IRS uh, does not do that uh, so It'll kick you out if you've been inactive, uh, but you should still follow proper internet protocols. Clear your cookies regularly. Uh, close down the specific browser that you use uh, uh, for this tool whenever you're finished with it. So with that said, let's begin. All right. So now it's going to ask us which form should I use to file my taxes now this is for the 2020 through 2022 tax return uh, as we're recording this uh, we're not quite in the 2023 tax filing season so just uh, make sure that uh, you've determined that you need to file a tax return there's another uh, ITA tool that will help you determine if you even need to file a tax return so we've done a video on that we'll post that link in the show notes as well so let's go ahead and continue and by the way anytime you want to go to the uh, ITA homepage that buttons right there so so which tax year are we talking about Let's go ahead and uh, just say it's for 2022. It's going to ask us uh, whether you or your spouse were age 65 or older before the end of the tax year. So uh, technically January 1st still counts as the pr prior tax year. So if you say yes, then you should use Form 1040-SR. So 1040 SR is simply just a more uh, straightforward and simpler tax form for older uh, taxpayers. And the primary uh, consideration is whether or not you're age 65 or older. So let's go ahead and move on. So um, you would use Form 1040 in this situation. Uh, as long as you were under the age of 65. So uh, that's pretty quick. Let's see if we can go back a page and see if we can talk about prior tax years. So 2021, uh, were we age 65 or older? Nope, we should use Form 1040. Uh, let's see what it says if we say yes. Well, you should use Form 1040 SR. All right, let's use the final tax year, which would be the furthest back, 2020, where you or your spouse age 65 or older. Um, well, if you were, then you should use 1040 SR. If you were not, then you should use Form 1040. So, um, well, I guess we ran out of options with this interactive tax tool. Uh, I'll put a note in my calendar to check this again at the beginning of tax filing season uh, so that we can uh, see whether or not they make this change. But as of right now, seeing that we just finished the tax return extension season, if for some reason you hadn't filed, if you have an extra extension, then this form or this interactive tax assistant tool really isn't that helpful for us at this point in time. So I'll still put this out on the YouTube and then I'm going to compare it 
I'm going to put in a note in my records to uh, check back on this uh, when we enter into tax season to see if anything's changed functionally. So uh, I'll wrap this up by saying that there are really three most common types of tax uh, forms. Form 1040, 1040SR, and 1040NR for non-residents. So um, that's all we have for this interactive tax assistant tool. So um, I'll put a link into the video that we did about whether or not you even need to file taxes. And then I'll revisit this during tax season. So uh, if you have any questions or ideas for uh, future tax topics to uh, record a video on, please hit me up in the show notes. So, um, and uh, if you have any questions about any of our articles, uh, please check out our website, teachmepersonalfinance.com. Uh, type in the name of the form that, that you're searching for, and odds are pretty high that we've written an article about it. So, And uh, check out our YouTube video. We've probably shot a video about that form too. So, And if we haven't, please hit me up in the comments section. Until next time, thank you very much and have a great day.